Hello Libra, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the end of the month, end of May here. These are need to know readings. Something that may be going on around you that you need to know. You may not know but about this energy or person. So let's see what's showing up for you, Libra. Libra. Ace of coin, four of cups. Okay, now this might be a nice opportunity coming in for some of you. Raise a new job, some money, something that you are gonna celebrate. Might be in the love, we'll see, category. Might be from a Capricorn, there you are. Six of coin, okay. There is a king of coin under the deck, so there definitely could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn involved in this situation. All right, I'm gonna go back through and see what this is saying. This looks very interesting. All right, okay, we have change with death, five of cups, page of coin, temperance, Two of Swords and Tower. Okay, so Libra, I'm feeling like there's somebody around you or there's a situation that you may end. Could be in love, doesn't need to be, because of a newer opportunity coming in. Again, this might be work, money, a loan, something that allows you to move. There may be someone who's actually disappointed by this, by this that you're moving. And it could be an earth sign or somebody maybe in your, uh, where you work. This might be, I'm almost getting for someone, this is just very specific, like you are in a um, relationship with this person, but it's only, you know, sex, sex based and you're not really, you don't have a deep connection with this person. And I feel like they're very, they're upset with you for leaving. Like they've never, I feel like they've never showed emotions like this before. And now that you are leaving, I'm getting this person is sad. And I feel like you care, but at the same time, maybe you weren't expecting. I don't know if that's very random for somebody, but... Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm almost getting Libra that someone may want to play dirty. I don't know what has to do with the scenario that went through my mind really fast. Or this is something else. What is death? Okay, you are no longer going to be out in the cold. Whether you are dealing with a Scorpio or just somebody who wasn't very good to you. Or if this is a money matter. So you have something new coming in here, Five of Cups. Someone or something maybe had you stuck or feeling stuck, but this, <clears throat> someone may be also thinking about you stuck on you, um, but you're getting this new opportunity coming in. You manifested this so that you can move forward. All right. So the first message, this actually goes down here, but is that you are bringing something in, you're manifesting something you want, it's something really good. It's going to allow you to either get out of a crappy relationship, a bad job, uh, maybe just not having enough money, something so that you can move forward and you're happy. Maybe you are getting out of a third party situation that you didn't want to be in in the first place possibly, but three, cup, three of cups, excuse me, looks like a celebration so, and chariot moving forward. Now there does seem like there may be some toxic energy down in the second row that may not want to let you go. We have temperance, so it could be a Sagittarius. We have Capricorn. Devil makes me feel like it's a situation or a person who, for some reason, may feel like they own you or possess you or something a little bit like that. Let me move everybody over. I just saw. Okay. What is temperance? Page of coin. Okay, it might be a fire sign or a Sagittarius. There's some communication here. What is the seven of swords? Eight, eight of wands communication. I'm almost feeling like blackmail for someone too. I don't know if that's, that seems very random. Six of coin, like somebody wants something from you or maybe you give someone something. You pay back a debt, you pay back something. May not be anything that you're doing, maybe helping somebody else. King of swords, four of wands, justice. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to get out of a situation, Libra. You are getting out of something. But careful of those around you. Maybe just as simple as that. It could be coworkers, someone you live with. I would keep whatever this is going on in your life, this new opportunity to yourself because of what I'm seeing here. And again, this is need to know. This is the kind of stuff that shows up. This will not resonate with a lot of people because this is not happening in their life, which might be a good thing. But if it's for you, if this resonates, there's someone around you 
And King of Swords doesn't have to be an air sign, but you might be married to this person because you guys do match or you guys hate each other. If not, the King of Swords, not the sign, the energy of this card showed me someone who may be kind of methodical or they're, um, uh, what's the word I want, where they're thinking things through to like they're planning, they're scheming almost a little bit. It's because but like with the Seven of Swords, you need to listen to your intuition. There is something shady and it may be in communication or something this person is saying, okay? Or don't let them plan anything for you. Also, I'm getting that, which, you know, don't let them plan your trip or anything along that line. Because I see you telling them, you know, I'm moving on. And you say it in a very calm manner is what I'm seeing here. You take their needs or feelings into consideration when you're talking to them. And you're letting them know I'm moving on. Six of Swords is kind of a gentle energy of moving. You know, you're not like blowing it up. Not you're not, there's no world. You're just moving on. You need to move on. You're not happy in the situation. But this person does not like what you're telling them. I don't know if this is a boss but we have the six of coin as the outcome. Now I'm trying to figure out if this is you giving them something, if that makes sense to you, would you give them some of this money or something? Is this just a one-sided deal? Are they asking you for money? Cause this blows their mind tower. They're not happy with this new setup, but I feel like you're moving to something better with the four of wands and you're, and you're very excited. You're happy. You deserve this justice. And the interesting thing is I don't even see another person involved in, in your reading. It has mainly to do with money. So leaving a bad job for a new job, being able to move into a new home or apartment. Um, and you deserve this with justice. This is your card. You get this. This is what you've been waiting for and manifesting. So what is the justice card? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person knows by you leaving that or you this cycle is closed, you're moving on. And this blows their mind. So I'm not sure exactly why the Seven of Swords, unless this is your intuition. Maybe this is your intuition telling you not to tell them. You might have to be sneaky. So again, the details are a little bit shady to me. I'm not sure exactly what it's telling me, but the communication um, needs to be gentle. Okay, because this person is attached to you more than you realize. You might not want to tell them everything because there could be something that they do or try to do. This will be very shocking to them. Six of coin, you maybe you want to, I mean, it could be a one-sided situation you were in, but maybe it means giving them something like I mentioned. Maybe it means giving them some of the money or giving them some help. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly why the six of coin was, is representing for you. May have been just one-sided on their part too, though. But anyways, this is something that's coming in a blessing for you, but just be careful of how, how you tell people, who you tell, and their motives. Maybe they want money from you. Oh, that might be what it is. They may want to ask you for some money. So that's, you know, completely up to you. Let me pull a guidance card, though, for this reading. <clears throat> What are the messages that Libra needs to be aware of in this situation? What is, ooh, okay. All right. I'm going to take those. I know what they say, though. They don't really feel like they apply. Sometimes cards I have found fall out, and they really are not part of the reading. I will tell you, though, what they are. Well, this one is about taking care of yourself. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now you need to stop and take care of yourself. All right, that might make sense for this. This is also saying, this is Archangel Michael, if you're interested in. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So I'm noticing the word courage here. There may be something that maybe you are nervous about um, leaving or cutting away from. Under the deck <clears throat> is your desire. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. So again, the word here to me is force. Uh, don't force it, just, you know, something, allow it to unfold. So <clears throat> I hope this is helpful. Let me pull Moonology card too, because of the nature. So you do, see, you do have someone around you, it could be a woman, doesn't have to be a man, who may not have the best intentions for you and may not want to see you succeed. All right, keep that in mind for who this is applying to. And it may be as simple as a landlord or a neighbor. So, <clears throat> a message, please. One message for Libra. Thank you. Okay. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. All right. So, you guys are getting some, um, definitely getting some, pardon me, 
getting some help or some guidance from the universe. So don't stress, don't rush it. I feel like everything is going to work out for you. I said I was going to pull another one. I did. Okay, caution is warranted. They told me to pull another one. Sorry. Okay, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. This is the card that was meant to come out. Something about caution. Okay. All right. I don't want to scare you guys. I think the main thing is just you don't need to tell this person. Okay. Keep the details to yourself. Don't share it with everyone. I think that would be the best thing. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.